let's fix FaceTime if it's not working on your iPhone. Now, if you're trying to FaceTime with somebody either through audio or video, I'm gonna show you how to get it fixed. The first thing that we'll do is we'll head into our settings here and we'll scroll down until we get to FaceTime and tap on that. Now here you can see right next to FaceTime, there is a green button that's toggled on. I'm just gonna toggle that off wait for a bit and then toggle that back on. This will reconnect and re-authenticate FaceTime on my phone. You can see it takes a bit of time and then it appears with all of the settings and information, all that stuff. Now, another thing that you can do under, you can be reached at, you can always choose your email in addition to your phone number. Potentially there's an issue with using your phone number and by just using your email address, you can also reconnect to FaceTime just go by going through that method as well. Another thing that we'll do is we'll go back and we'll scroll up and tap on general and then software update. Check to see if you have a new update to your iOS operating system. If you do just update your phone, potentially there's a FaceTime bug or glitch that is fixed in that iOS update. Now, the next thing we'll do is we'll scroll down and you can see at the very bottom here is shut down. Just tap that shut down button. It will turn off your phone and then you just reboot it. Sometimes just shutting down your phone and restarting it fixes a lot of issues. You can also just shut it down just by tapping the volume up, the volume down and tapping and holding that power button until your phone shuts down. Now, if you go through all of these different steps and your phone still isn't working, the last thing you can do is tap that transfer or reset iPhone. And then let's tap on reset here. And then we can tap reset all settings at the very top. This will a lot of times fix any kind of bugs or glitches in that FaceTime settings and cause it to re-authenticate everything, redo everything that will sometimes fix any kind of bugs that your iOS operating system might have with FaceTime. Hope this helps. If you have any questions on that, leave them in the comments down below and I'll catch you on the next one.